All right, Jack Black's over by the hoist. Gonna get him lifted up and uh, try and get the bed off so that we can start tackling the altitude issues. We might end up breaking most of the bolts to hold the bed on. Hopefully not. If we can keep at least two, that'd be great. But I know uh, the first time we tried to take it off, the first two we touched both snapped. So might end up using like carriage bolts or something when it comes time to put it back on. We are thinking might do a full step notch. I know uh, there were a couple people that said do a under bed notch, but I don't think that'll be quite enough. So I might just play it safe and do a full step notch. They're, uh, once you get the bed off, they're pretty much easy enough to do. Looks like there's one there. This one, oh yeah, that one I started to get up. There's those two. Three, four. Got two on my side. There's only two left. Well, that one's broke. Yeah. There's one there. Yeah, that one. And one think, up in the very front. And there, I think there. Yeah, there's one right here. All through that hole. Yeah. So. What? Did we had the bed off, or did we decide not to take it off. After that one broke, we decided not to. Oh. So what do we decide now? Let's take it off. We're gonna we're gonna have to to do the notch. All right, now we're gonna hear a lot of swearing. Well, that was already halfway out. That's why I started with that one. You gotta pick your battles. Next size down. Try a different one. Uh, That's good. It was hot though. Yeah. God, man. Well, we might get one side of it off without too much of a fight. I knew I shouldn't have said that. I don't know if it'd help heating the bolt up. Sometimes it does, sometimes it don't. <laughs> Should have put your hoodie on. God damn truck. So far, all the bolts have come out, except these back two. And I think that's mostly just because they're so off center with that like relief hole that the socket doesn't want to fit in there. When all else fails, fire. No, not yet. are out now after we use the right side socket and the bed is just sitting there got a little bit of wiring to unplug and then it can come off and, yeah 
Oh, yeah, just unplug the wiring and then. <laughs> yeah, why not? We'll just solder them back together or just tape them. Use the house screw style. Then we can lift the bed off. And before we do actually pull the bed off, I'm gonna take a couple measurements from the floor to the frame, see what the height's at with the bed on, and then how that changes once the bed's off and there's no weight on the back. That way we can, uh, hopefully with the bed off, get some accurate measurements and see how far we need that step to go. All right, just measured the frame just inside the front of the tires and from the ground to the bottom of the frame right about in here is about 20 and a quarter on both sides so that'll give us a good idea on uh, where things are at once the bed's off So it's Sunday, so unfortunately we're not gonna be able to run and get the actual steel to do the step notch. So maybe maybe tomorrow we'll run and do that. Today we're just gonna get the bed off and inspect things and get some measurements. Maybe cut, we'll see. What if the whole truck just fell in half? I mean, oh, oh. What was that? Oh, I wonder if that's... Yeah, that's this roll pan catch and drop it down a little bit. So you might have to roll the truck ahead a touch. And see if I can see it with the camera. That might, might have been enough. I'll try and pull it out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. And it looks like we're clearing everything. Sweet. That's it. Hell yeah. The frame's not as bad as it looks underneath. Just take a flap disc to it and undercoat it. A lot easier to change the fuel pool. Well, yeah. I was expecting all these bolts to break. If I had known they'd come out, would have just done this. I feel like a fool now. Oh, yeah. Let me get those measurements. See how much it did change. It's right about here. What parts did you order? Just the actual flip kit. Oh. Just, so it went up about an inch and a half. So we can keep that in mind when we're uh, measuring things. Because we know that the flip kit's gonna bring the axle, the top of the axle up about six inches. So. And your old shackles, we had to cut them out of there. Yeah, I mean, we could uh, drop them an inch, which will be about a half oh, inch yeah, in the that's middle. Right. It's another bolt. Yeah, so an inch back there will be about a half inch in the center. Yeah. I mean, if we had to, we could order or buy stock shackles. But yeah, knowing that the flip kit's gonna bring the top of the axle up six inches and then taking the weight off the back of it raised the frame about an inch and a half, so that's about seven and a half inches that we know we'll need. And then it'd be nice to have like a good two to three for travel, like that much uh, gap there. And then basically all we're gonna do is just Cut out like from here to here or so, and then just get some box tubing, come up, over, and then back down. Weld it on every spot that touches the frame. Might even do like a another section over here just to help strengthen it a little bit more. And then at the corner section of that step notch, gonna run a tube from side to side. And then we'll probably use that to mount the new shocks because we will definitely need new shocks. And then with the front suspension, there's a couple options too. Could just get some uh, drop spindles, which would put us at the height we want, but these springs probably aren't the best for drag racing, so 
could get some like Moroso trick springs and then cut those to the height we want. Might still get some drop spindles just so that we're not cutting away a ton of that spring. Crazy, like right through here on the frame looks fine. And you can see how much room we still have for backspacing. Well, I guess until we can get some steel, that's about it for today. All right, so that is gonna do it for today's video. Not really much more we can do right now. Obviously, we just have to run, get some steel for this so we can start getting everything mocked up and cut out. Well, what we're thinking for this is we're just gonna cut the top off and then get the uh, notch kind of tacked in place and everything, make sure it's gonna work, get a couple sides welded, and then we can cut the actual frame out and without having to worry about too much uh, like flex and everything like that, final weld it all in. Hopefully tomorrow, can run to steel yard, get some like either two by four, two by three tubing and get started on it. But that's gonna do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you for liking, commenting and subscribing. We'll see you next time.